Uh, why don't we do some math questions for fun? All right, so here's the deal. Suppose I'm going to run the first half of the marathon with uh, average pace, 10 minutes per mile, all right? And then during the second part of the course, I'm going to be running at a, an average pace of 12 minutes per mile. Question. What is the overall average pace for the whole marathon? All right, so leave a comment down below and uh, I'll let you guys know. And the answer to the overall average pace is 11 minutes per mile. That's it. Just do the average. If you don't know how to do the average, you can see that bridge right here. It's really cool, huh? It's gonna be raining ish, foggy. Ah, my shoes are actually wet. All right, I might as well tell you guys the other math question for fun, All right? Suppose during the first half of the marathon, I run with an average speed of six miles per hour, and then the second half of the marathon, I run with an average speed of four miles per hour. And the question is, what is the overall average speed for the entire course? Go ahead and do it. Sean Manzano. The Francisco Marathon. Fuck yeah, man. And here comes Ernest. I did this again, man. Fuck. Time, 4.41. I did better than the LM Marathon by four minutes. Wow. Training matters, man. Ah! Oh, late. Okay, now let me go over these two questions with you guys. First of all, let's talk about what an average pace is. And by the way, pace and speed, they both tell us how fast we are running, okay? And especially if you run, you should know this really well. Average pace is defined to be total time over total distance. And in my question, the time will be measured in minutes and the distance will be measured in miles, okay? And maybe you're wondering how long the actual marathon is, the full thing. But you don't need to know in my context. And to start with the equation, we can just say that D equals to the total distance, but we still have to figure out the time I spent for the first and the second half. Anyway, since this is the total distance, well, D over 2 will be for the first half, right? And you see, the pace, as I told you guys in the video, it was 10 minutes per mile. And if you look at this time stat, the mile will cancel each other out. D over 2 times 10, right, is just going to be 5D minutes, okay? So this is the amount of time that I need for the first half. And likewise for the second half, it will just be D over 2 times 12 because I told you guys in the video, 12 minutes per mile for the second half of the marathon. And the mile once again cancel out, D over 2 times 12, this right here is just going to be 60 minutes, okay? And now for the total time, of course, we just need to add these two together. So that's why I have right here 5D plus 60 over the total distance, which is D, right? 5D plus 6D, of course, is 11D, and we still divide this by D, and you see D and D cancel, so at the end, we have 11, and this is the final average pace, so it will be 11 minutes per mile. This is it. So this is just like the usual average, no problem with that. Anyway, let's take a look of the average speed. The average speed is defined to be the total distance over total time. So let's do the same thing, that D equals to the total distance, and we have to figure out the time in this case, it's slightly trickier. But what to utilize this formula, you see, speed times time is equal to distance, time is equal to distance over speed after we divide speed on both sides, right? And now, let's figure out the time for the first half. Well, for the first half, I need to, find, I need to have the distance on the top. For the first half, it will be just D over 2 for the distance, right? And then over 6, because I told you guys earlier, I ran with the average speed of 6 miles per hour for the first half. So this right here is going to give me the time for the first half. And D over 2 over 6 is going to give me a total of D over 12, right? All in all, D over 12. And then likewise, the time for the second half, well, the distance will be D over 2 over the speed I told you earlier, which was 4 miles per hour. D over 2 over 4, it's going to be D over 8, okay? So when we add them up, this will be the total time length for the whole course. And now, let's look at this again. 
average speed is equal to total distance, so I have the d on the top. And for the total time that I need, it will be this plus that, right? So I have d over 12 plus d over 8 on the denominator here. And now this is a complex fraction. How can I simplify this? Well, 12 and 8, I know the lowest common multiple of these two numbers. It will be 48, right? So let's multiply the bottom and the top by 48. So this way, we can get rid of this. You see, 48 times d over 12, it will be just 40. 48 times d over 8, it will be 60. And then 48 times d will be 48 d on the top. On the bottom, 4d plus 60 is just 10d. And on top, we still have the 48d, right? And of course, we can divide d and d out. And then 48 divided by 10 is just 4.8. So you see, the answer is not 5 miles per hour. The answer to the second question is actually... 4.8 miles per hour. So be really careful when we're talking about average speed versus average pace. This right here is called the harmonic mean. It's really cool, okay? If you haven't seen it in the past, this is the time that you need to know about this. Anyway, that's it. Hopefully you guys like this video and my Google Pen. All right, look at this, man. Woohoo! Can't wait to put this on. How late?